messed up. Of it. I got you for the 2022 season, your own personal mud mower. Oh. What are these made out of? Carbon fiber. No shot. Getting it back to a real street car. Got some new doors ordered to have windows in them. So we're not. All right, y'all. I really don't like to boost about stuff like this, but since you're pretty much a part of my life now, I got to show you. I got a new truck. 2022 F350 King Ranch with the long bed. I got these lower control arm relocator brackets, dropped it down about a two and a half. to him as you guys know he loves to bog and so what a perfect gift for him to start off 2022 then with his own personalized mud mower so we're gonna go give it to him i'm pulling into his shop right now and let's see what he thinks about it because i think it's pretty cool i mean i kind of want to keep it for myself actually all right dude i got something for you you gotta come with me though <laughs> I'm actually a little worried right now. <laughs> you shouldn't be worried. I'm a little, worried. I'm a little jealous, actually. I'm a little worried. All right, so as an apology for screwing up your limo <laughs> on Garrett's oh. wedding, and also for messing with you and you never punched me in the face <laughs> because of it, I got you for the 2022 season, your own personal mud mower. <laughs> mud mower. <laughs> what custom you know. paint job, custom exhaust. Dude, she's ready to go. New tires on the front. She's loud and in charge. What is this thing? Oh, I know you love mowers, right? <laughs> oh my god. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. It's got a mud bug tag, you know. Goodness. Did you buy it like this? Or did you build it? Can't say. I can't say. <laughs> no, I got it like this. I was trying to find a race mower and then I found this thing and I was like, oh that's perfect. <laughs> Dude, what am I gonna do with this thing? You're gonna you're gonna drive it in the mud. <laughs> Have you ever had a mud mower before? Don't worry about that. It just needs to be tack welded. Dude, listen to her. Oh, I'll start it for you. <laughs> listen to this thing. What do you think? You want it? I mean, <laughs> oh, you saw what happened in the last mower, right? Hit it one time like you mean. I know, that's why I thought this thing would be perfect. I saw it sitting over there in the corner, so. Are right, you ready to get this thing unloaded? Not really. Oh, it's staying here. I'm not taking it home. You don't want to take it home and no. just store it there for me for I a little bit? I don't have room for it. I bought it for you. <laughs> Uh, oh, thanks, buddy. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew man. you'd like it. That's why I had to get it for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wrote it? Yeah, I wrote it. Maybe it's got a cam in it. Maybe it's got a cam in it. <laughs> you know, I something's did... sounding pretty bad back here. I think it just needs, oh, you know what? That belt comes off. I had to put it back on. That's how I talked him down in price. <laughs> the lower gears weren't working. And uh, yeah, she's grinding a little bit, but. Oh, she's grinding, man. It grinds pretty good. So. It'll be fine. Perfect. I think it looks good next to this thing. Back to a real street car, got some new doors ordered to have windows in them so we're not rocking those ghetto 
<laughs> those sub, super ghetto plastic Ooh, windows. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks so terrible. Yeah. And Sam is one that convinced me to do this. It's, I'm glad I did it. Hand it's hand gonna hand help hand. dial the car in a little more. What are these made of? Carbon fiber. No shot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, I just gotta should I leave, should I leave them white or paint them red. <laughs> <laughs> leave them white. You gotta go down the track once with some white parts on it. <laughs> Get some blue wheels. It'll be a red, white, and blue car. That's pretty good looking doors, you know. Yeah, they are. Pretty good looking pretty doors. Yeah, I told them, give me two of your best. And, and she did. said, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> they did. You can have any color you want as long as it's white. And it's got the. They're from the parts farm. Yeah. That's the, those dudes are pretty awesome. Are they? Yeah. Good. Now I gotta figure out how to get this pallet over to the painter because it's not fitting in the back of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a trailer over there. Oh, yeah, we could just put it on the trailer. There's a trailer right there, I think. Perfect. So now, town. Alrighty y'all, let me show you what I've done so far. I got these lower control arm relocator brackets, dropped it down about a two and a half inches on this lower control arm. I also took out the old lower control arms and replaced them with these BMRs because I am switching to coilovers. Now, I am gonna run the coilovers in the stock position to get me through race week. Ideally, people have them set up here and here, you know, bring them inwards and bring these lower control arm brackets inward as well so it's more straight with the car. Right now, if you can see, it kind of angles towards the middle of the car, but that'll uh, get me by for, for sick week. As you can see, these clovers can go straight up into that hole, and they come with this other piece that's gonna go on the top of the coilover, and that'll sit up inside of the, the shock tower up inside of the car. Here's what she looks like. Now, right now, I have the back end jacked up a little bit just to kind of give me an idea what the ride height's gonna be. But there she is. Look how much better that looks. I love when those lower control arms hang down far. Mmm. So nice. Okay, so finished up putting the lower control arm relocators in. New lower control arms. Next week I'm putting in Mentor Motorsports coilovers that are double adjustable because since I'm switching from a slick to a radial tire, the car used to squat and now I want it to actually separate in the rear and push that rear tire down into the pavement. So getting the car really close, I mean, it's more than capable of an 850, but if we can get it to run an 850 flat consistently, we are gonna be set for sick week and the class we're gonna be running in. No funny business, Dr. Pepper. No, don't do funny. filling the car's coolant back up because we wrapped all the lines with this design engineering ink an wrap fire sleeve to help protect these lines because they run close to the header and to the exhaust and i believe these are rated for over a thousand degrees and it's going to keep our coolant lines from getting too hot and melting since they are ran and are rated for about 300 degrees fahrenheit we got some uh water we're putting in because you cannot run antifreeze when you're running at the track you can only run water now I am putting water wetter in because everybody talks about how it'll keep your car a couple degrees cooler, isn't that right? That's great. Drops the temperature of your water. Good. So we're gonna put some water wetter in. We're gonna get a couple. Uh, we've got one gallon in already, and we gotta fill it through this top hose because this is actually the highest point on our cooling system. Unfortunately, the radiator cap is not. We're gonna get it filled up in here as much as we can. Turn the electric pump on to start circulating it, and probably top it off from over there. What do you think? Yeah, we'll put this one in it. Put one more cord in it? Yep, put a full cord in it. Okay. Right now we've got about, f oh wow, look at all that fuel mm -hmm. or condensation. We've got five and a half quarts in it. We're gonna go yep. for six and a half. It's got a deep pan on the power glide. And so it takes a little bit more fluid than another one. And we also had to, we did flush the lines, the trans cooler lines. And so we're accumulating probably about a half a quart in that area as well. Yep. Okay, let's get this other one full quart. Let's put one full quart in. Man, look at that signage. It looks so good lit up. I did the raised letters with the 
backlit LEDs. Clean. My name, and then Steve Feldman, who I bought the practice from a year ago. He still comes in every once in a while, but you know, wanted to pay respect to him for everything he's done in the office and keep his name alive. It's been a little bit since I've put any teeth content. You know, it is teeth and turbos. So I'm gonna show y'all how I turned something like this into this. This is my digital workflow. I basically use a CAD-like software that's used in dentistry called Blue Sky Bio to plan all my implants in the bone, create my surgical guides. That way the day of surgery, everything goes smoothly. It's pre-planned. It actually takes me longer to plan a surgery like this than it does to actually do it. For me to take all these teeth out and put all these implants, I think we're doing about 11 or 12 implants on this patient, is about a two hour surgery. And I have about that amount of time into planning the case as well. Um, obviously the cases never go exactly as planned, but that's why I am so set up in this office for any obstacle that may come my way. I mean, I have literally every instrument everything that I could possibly want to alter the treatment plan or alter the surgery as we're going. And I don't have to just cut things off and bring them back because nobody likes to do that. I like to get it all done in one shot and that minimizes, you know, the risk of infection or swelling or the amount of time they have to be in for surgery. I try to be as efficient as possible and I work with three assistants at one time. When you go to the dentist and you only have one assistant in the room, I have three and that way the surgeries go smoothly. So let's get to planning. I'm gonna do a little time lapse here and show y'all how I plan a case. of you know dealing with teeth can be difficult and expensive this person has been struggling with this their entire life and this solution is going to bring them new life and ability to eat chew and talk the way they want to and have the confidence all at the same time now this is just the bottom i still need to plan the top these are the cases that i love doing and it's so much fun i place about 30 to 50 dental implants a month and it's great. It's truly my passion within dentistry. And I hope you guys like this content. Let's get back to the car stuff. All right, y'all, I really don't like to boost about stuff like this, but since you're pretty much a part of my life now, I gotta show you, I got a new truck. And it is a 2022 F350 King Ranch. It's got a long box, bed liners going in next week. She's a beaut. She's got a big screen in the middle of the dash. And I got this truck because I've been driving my 12 valve for the past year. And yes, it's an incredible truck and it's beautiful and it's classic, but I haven't had heating. I haven't had air conditioning. I haven't had a stereo for like a year now and it's time to treat myself. I love cars and I know y'all do too. And I want something that I can feel confident in towing with and be comfortable in because we're in them for thousands of miles and hours and hours on each day. And you know, it was ready, it was time. And so I got this truck for myself and yes, I switched to Ford. I know y'all Dodge guys are gonna be giving me a hard time, but I'm still a 12, guy, 12 valve guy at heart. But let me show you a little bit around the truck. I ordered it about three months ago and she's here now. I got the LED headlights, F350 King Ranch, long box, single rear wheel, because I really don't need a dually. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're gonna order one of these trucks, do not get the safe in the center console because it takes up so much space. I mean. There's literally nowhere to put put something like this now, but it's got the big dash or big screen in the dash. And I mean, the amount of space in this back seat is really unmatched in any other category of this truck or truck of this category, I should say. But all right, if you guys like this episode, make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next video. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare, except 
a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.